television brought this to you coast to coast, people watching cable news, um, but we didn't know what was going on inside the plane, obviously. With us now, Stacey Wexler, who was on that flight and will fill us in. This is really bizarre because you could actually watch Jeff Lou, and people may not know this, but have televisions in, in front of every set, and you can watch direct TV, so you will watch in live time oh, yeah. this plane flying around. Yeah. Tell us about that. Um, basically, I was just flipping through the channels, you know, waiting to, you know, just relax and get into the flight when I noticed that, you know, I saw on the bottom 292 and I saw the, the plane and I thought, oh my God, and I said, the woman next to me, forget that. Okay, so you <laughs> didn't know, you wouldn't have been alerted by the pilot or the... We uh, were, um, about 10 minutes into the flight. I, I, I fly so much for work and, and personal reasons that I, I you, you know, you feel when the landing gear is up and you felt that the plane wasn't reaching its altitude. But the, uh, the pilot came on and he said, you know, this problem with the landing gear, it's not going up, it's tilted, and we're going to try and, you know, we're going to try and fix it and we're going to go do a flyby so they can check out the landing gear. And they were on the phone with New York and they said it was, you know, they wanted to see if first they can try and fix it you know, that way, instead of us landing. All right, so you, right off the bat, the pilot let you know what's yeah, going on. Yeah, pilot was Now, how did people react inside the cabin? At that point, everyone was just like, oh, okay, you know, whatever. Yeah. Now, when they started to see the coverage, did people's yeah, tension start to rise? Because, um, I know this, as, as a publicist, I now have the media spin thing. Oh, sure. So, I see, you know, emergency and this and that, and you hear the different kinds of verbiage that people are using to describe it. And we're like, is it really this, is it this bad, or... Yeah, they, they were hyping, and the media yeah. always does it. Was there anybody in the plane that was misbehaving, crying, screaming, yelling, anything like that? I didn't see that. I was pretty much, you know, in my own kind oh, of... you would have heard it. I, I, I have been on a plane in a situation not like that, but close, mm -hmm. and, and there was one guy who was really in, um, we had we to put him down. Now, when we're looking at the plane coming in, mm -hmm. tell me about this. Wow. It, uh, that's actually this is probably the second time I've seen this. So, what were you thinking? Um, I had um, my grandpa's name ring in one hand, and I had a St. Christopher medal that my friend gave me in, in my other hand. And I was in the crash position, and I was just saying, you know, thinking in my head, I must have promised God everything. So you were praying? Yeah, and I'm not religious. They yeah, that, that tends to happen in these You situations. know, I must have prayed right. to every, you know, we're everything. Praying, get the Holy Saints yeah. out there. I made all kinds of bargains. So you were really, really frightened for your life. I was just so scared that I wasn't going to be able to. There's so much 